After doing a bunch of 3D printing, I feel that I'm ready to do engraving. So I got a bunch of stuff as you can see. I got the air assist, the honeycomb bed, the laser itself. Everything is included in the laser package. You got your eyeglasses, your power cables, your rails, everything. And I can swear the eyeglass works as advertised because I'm still not blind. An instruction manual is included, but nobody reads that. That's why you're here, and I'm going to show you how to assemble it. We're going to start assembling the unit upside down. One of the reasons we're doing that is because we don't want to damage this end stop right here. So everything is upside down. This is on the left side. This is the com grow, and it's upside down. That one has the two top holes facing the top. The right side has the ruler, and that will be on the right side. We're going to be using these big screws. There's only four of them. Whatever you do, don't tighten them down yet. You can leave it a little bit loose, no worries. Now that you're done with the main assembly, just sit back and marvel at the swearness of it. I'm going to go to the bathroom now because I know that the tiles are perfectly flat and I'm going to go there to tighten all the screws down because now I know it's square and it's flat. I'm not going to do this on a IKEA table which is what this table is because it's all wobbly. Next up, we're going to slide the whole frame through these rollers here. And on the other side, through these rollers here. Roll it around using your thumb up and down. If you feel that it's too wobbly, just use this wrench, this uh, mini wrench, to tighten this nut right here and right here. Now let's install the controller box into position. It has two rabbit ears, so just align them with these two holes here and here. These are the four stands. They are mirror image of each other. So when you install them, make sure that the holes align correctly. Then 
this nut is very special. There's one side that's sticking out. So make sure that sticking out side is facing the uh, bolt. Here's a close-up look. I don't know if you can see or not. If you can't see it, you can definitely feel that one side is sticking out. Start off by screwing it a little bit in. Slide it into the rail. Finally, you can tighten the screw down. Repeat this whole process for all the other three corners. While we're on the bottom, let's take care of some business. They give you this wire management thing. Remove the film. Insert onto the bottom. Stick it to the bottom. Insert the wires in and it'll click in to hold the wires in position. There's only one wire sticking out, so use it to insert it into the end stop. This cable can only go in one way, so if you can't go in, try flipping it over and press it in. The two belts are very tricky to install, so that's why I'm changing the angles of the camera. There's a total of three pulleys. The first pulley, you have to go under it. The second pulley, you have to go over it. And then back down the third pulley. Now repeat the whole process for the other side. To secure the belts, you have to use this flat washer. Insert it into the rail. Use the bolt to tighten it down. I wouldn't put the bolt all the way at the end. I would put it somewhere near the middle of this rail. Otherwise, it might just slip out. You can put the end caps in now to make it look nice and pretty. You don't have to. Repeat this whole process for the other three sides to secure the belts. It's hard to say how tight the belt should be, but um, I wouldn't do it too tight. Otherwise, the uh, y-axis can't move. The y-axis should move, but without too much resistance. That's how you know if your belt is too loose or too tight. On this side, you'll notice a piece of wire sticking out. It's perfectly fine. Let's insert that wire into the stepper motor. It can go only in one direction. So if you can't fit it in, flip it the other way and insert again. Don't try to use too much force. The final process is installing this laser module. On one side, you'll see a bunch of holes with screws, here and here. On the other side, nothing. Nothing here, nothing there. Release the uh, mount. There's four thumb screws. One, two, three, four. Release them all.
we're going to tighten the mount onto the laser module. There should be four screws left. Well, hopefully there's four screws left. And it'll go into these position right here. One, two, three, and four. The smallest screws, yep. All four screws are now in positions. Use the four thumb screws to get it back into position. Now there's really only two wires left for us to connect. The power, which is on top, and then on the bottom is PWM. Ta-da! This is what it looks like when everything is all said and done. Hopefully you found this tutorial helpful on how to assemble the Comcro Z1 10 watt version. In later videos, I'm going to show you how to use light burn to burn stuff, to engrave stuff onto materials. I'm also going to show you how to use the air assist. You'll definitely need it to prevent charring effects on your works. Hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. I really appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel and thanks for watching.